Okay, next, it's time to learn how to use dates or work with dates and criteria. So write a SQL statement that will show all employees hired after 12-31-1995, order by hire date, display last name and hire date. Perfect. All right, so let's copy this over to our SQL pane. All right, so before I go in and show you how to do this, I want to pull up some documentation. Now, if you haven't already learned about W3 schools, now's a good time. This is a great reference for everything SQL and also... Uh, later in the course, or maybe you've already had it, you're going to learn about HTML and CSS. Uh, this is a great uh, reference for all those things. So what it's got here is an example of how to work with dates. Now here's a couple of different uh, database, very common SQL-based database engines, and it shows you the format that it's expecting dates to come in or be used with. So notice it puts year, month, then first, then date in both of these. And if you're using a, a date time, or a timestamp as well, then you also go hours, minutes, seconds. So you're always using a full four digits, a full two for month, a full two for, for date. So let's apply that back here when we write, create this query. So we want all employees hired after this date. So let's say where uh, hire date is greater than, and I, let's get rid of the equal to. We're simply going to say after because we don't want employees hired on that date, only those hired after. So we're going to say greater than, and I'm going to use single quotes as if, whoops, as if this were text. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to put it in in that format, 1995 dash, then month, 12 dash 31. Now let's say I had a month or a date that had a single digit. Let's say I wanted it after February 31. Because it wants two digits, I need to put a 0, 2 for February. Same thing if this was, if it was like the, the ninth of the month, I would make it 0, 9. So... Uh, we've got the, the criteria now taken care of. So with dates, I can use the comparison operators just like I would use with numbers. But I write I wrap uh, single quotes around it as if it were text. Now, every SQL engine is a little bit different. Some of them, like Microsoft Access, likes pound signs around dates. Um, but uh, single quotes is probably the most common. Anyway, uh, let's finish this up now. It says order by higher date in ascending order. So let's change the salary to higher date. And if it's ascending, we can leave it blank, or you can put an ASC. Either way, it'll do the same thing. Then it wants us to display only last name and first name. No problem. Or sorry, last name and higher date. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of salary. And then, of course, get rid of the text here at the end so that doesn't interfere. Okay, let's see if I did this right. Run query. Okay, cool. We've got everybody, and here's their higher date. This is check. None of them should be in 1995. They should all be after and it's sort of descending, so that looks good. Cool, so that's how we work with dates.